One second, guys. What is up, YouTube? It is Jack Boytel here, and I got some surprising, some, some really surprising news for you guys. It's a possible new series, and you probably realized on the screen right now, we have Mario Kart 8 and the Wii U. And I'm not just saying that for no reason at all. I am saying that because I actually went to Walmart today and I got four, five. I got seven things today. And let's bring out the biggest one first. I got Mario Kart 8. Guys, I got Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. And I got the Wii U. It came with both. As you can see, it's right here. It's also on the screen. It came with the Wii U. Uh, it's deluxe edition. It's nice and black. You got Mario Kart 8 there. And you, um... Hold on one second. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's nice and black. It's deluxe edition. It came with Nintendo Land. And it also came with Mario Kart 8. I can't wait to open this thing. This thing looks so cool. It's like a DS and a Wii combined together. And the thing I'm most surprised about, it actually works at, um... Here, let me read this, what it actually says. Playing up to full 1080p HD for the first time ever on a Nintendo video game console. That also shocked me. Then they also got Me Maker, Me Burst, they got Nintendo eShop, they got Wii U Chat, which you can chat with people online, which is surprising that they've actually do this kind of stuff. We got Netflix, Hylou Plus, we got Amazon, we got YouTube, Nintendo TVII, Internet Browser, it comes with everything that you could need, and 32 gigabytes. This was about $300. It was $29, $299 plus tax. This is a super duper great thing. There's gonna be a lot of new series coming out with this now. And I hope you guys do enjoy this. This is so cool. And then I also got what game is it here? Well, it's a Reddit M game. It's Assassin's Creed 3. As you can see right here, it's for the Wii U right at the top. If you don't like looking on here, you can look on the screen. Yeah, it's Assassin's Creed 3. It's not cool. I uh, played Assassin's Creed 1, I haven't played Brotherhood or number 2, and um, Superkiller21 saying that if you don't actually follow the storyline, it's not this good. And I've seen so many trailers about this game, I think this game comes out in... When did it come out? Like 2000 something? Well, I guess I won't actually say, because it is for the Wii U, and we're going to be unboxing all of these pretty soon. And then I've also got my whole Minecraft collection here, I got it for 40% off. As you can see right here, it's also on the screen above you. It's the complete Minecraft handbook. Not handbook. Minecraft the complete, yeah, handbook edition. And it's the gold edition, which is special edition. It has everything you need to know about Minecraft. Everything, and I got this for a few things. You got the Minecraft construction handbook, learning how to build things, which I kind of need. You got Minecraft combat book, which is learning tactics and PvP. You got the Redstone Book, very important for us, and the Beginner's Handbook, which we are going to need for my new series. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's all right there. And it's super cool, super amazing. So let's go right back up here to the Wii U. So, I'm going to unbox everything now. I got a pencil so I can open up things. Trusty pencil. So here we go, we got the Wii U. Now let's just figure out how to open this. I wish I could see what I was doing on my webcam. I can't, sadly, but I wish I could though. That'd be cool. So here we go. We got the Wii U here. Find a way to open it. Got little clips here. Hope we open it, guys. We're opening it, guys. We are unboxing the Wii U. Right? We are unboxing it. We opened it up. Ah, oh, smells like Spider-Man. <laughs> Awkward moments. Okay, so here's the uh, inside of it. It's just cardboard. Not nothing too exciting. I don't know if backing it up helps at all, but let's see what we got. We got some little top thing at the top here. Pretty sure this is all cords. 
So we're going to look at this one first. We've got the top of the box, which comes with important information, which is important, I'm guessing. We also got, it should be right here, we've got the Mario Kart 8 game that it came with. This goes there. We also got Nintendo Land, which I have no idea what Nintendo Land is. Um, I think it's sort of like a uh, Mii Plaza type of thing, but better. It has like mini games and stuff, so this looks pretty cool. We also got all your HDMI card cords, your charger cords, all your basic tools. Yeah, just all your cords. Um, I don't see the controller in here. Yeah, I don't see the controller in here. It's also something. Uh, it's a sensor bar. Alright. So that is that, guys. Now, like this. Put all this back in here. We should be able to pull out. Well, here. Should be able to pull this out, which is the bottom part of the box, which is actually upside down. Meaning everything could have fell out, but it didn't. I'm super amazed. And here it is, guys. Ooh, it's a heavy one. I don't know if you guys can smell it, but it smells like Spider-Man. And here we go, we also got another important little slip. We got the Wii U gamepad right here. This looks pretty cool, it's like a gigantic DS. Let's take this out and see what it looks like. Damn, nice and black too. It's a little lighter than I thought it would be, but here it is, guys. Look at that. Look at that. That's nice. Man, it feels so nice. Like, look at this. Pew, pew, pew. Pew. This is so cool. Ooh, I turned it on. And uh, look. Look what it says. Saying stuff on the screen. Turn on the TV and the Wii U console and that's what the TV input. Ooh, you can play it on it. That's cool. Oh, you, okay, you shut it off. You gotta hold this. This is really cool, guys. This definitely, I think, is gonna be Microsoft with the PS1. And it possibly might beat the PS4. I'm not too sure. So far, they're doing pretty good with this. So we got that. There's something else in the bottom here. Ooh, baby! I see Pikachu! Guys, I... Ooh! Oh my god, no way. No way, guys. It says right here, Hilu Plus, instantly watch current hit TV shows on the Wii U. It also comes with a pin code for one free month. See, guys, look at that. Try it free today. Turn over to get your one free month offer code. Then we also got your additional Club Nintendo. Then you got your, all your other important health stuff that I don't ever read because I don't need to. So you got that. I don't know why this came off. I don't know how to put this back in. Uh, I have an issue here. I don't know how to put this back in. Uh, uh oh. This isn't good. Mayday, mayday. We're going down. I don't know what I did. Whatever. It's going to put it down. And then here we got the Wii U itself. It's like a gigantic box. I haven't. I'm not gonna open this yet because it's in like a, a styrofoam type of packaging, so I'm not gonna worry about that too much. I do want to worry about this though. Oh wait, just going this way maybe. Would this way make more sense? Yeah, that makes more sense. See, so yeah, it goes in just like that. And then we got the Wii U gamepad, which I already explained, so we got everything here, and this is just super cool. I don't know how I'm going to put everything back in, though, but I find a way to do this. So yeah, it comes with all the basic Nintendo stuff. You also got that super cool gamepad. That thing is awesome. That thing looks super cool. It's super amazing. You guys have got to get the Wii U. I hope you guys look forward to new series that are coming up with all of that. Let's just go ahead and back in the box. Oh, 
harder than I thought, but we're going to get it in. We're going to get it in, I said. We're going to get it in. Oh, correct the box, guys. Right. Anyway, let's try and close this now. I think we need to close it. Mm. Impossible. I have appeared to have broken the box. Whatever, I'm going to take everything out anyway. And then here we've got Assassin's Creed 3, which I have my pencil for here. Just like that, you open it. And you get to hear the beautiful sound of uncrinkling wrapper. I get all the wrapper off. And then let's open it. Here we go, we got Assassin's Creed 3. The little packaging little thing and then you got the disc itself it's so beautiful guys looks like he's killing some sort of old man or something not really sure what that is but we got this as well I forgot to unpackage the other two games so I may as well do that while I still can but I'll fix the box afterwards so we got Mario Kart 8 like I explained we're gonna open this up right here Open this up. Gotta stop getting the screensaver. There we go, got the packaging off. And I forgot to read the back of it. They got new things like they always do. They got the boomerang plant, they got the piranha plant, and they got the super horn. Not bad. And here's the inside of it. You got the little cover thing, and then you got the disc. Super cool, guys. Guys, I've got to get this. And then we got this, which actually didn't come into packaging. I don't know why it didn't come into packaging, but... We got Nintendo Land, you got Samus, you got Link, you got Luigi, I think that is. You got Mario, you got a few other characters that your knees can dress up as. I found that pretty entertaining. Let me just fit this in. I'm sorry. This thing is bigger than I thought. I got the bill. Sorry to try this. Let's go put it in this one. This one. No, don't click over. We got it inside perfectly in that time. See, I can tell I'm not very good with boxes. It's a lot more bigger than it was the first time. And then we have also got the Minecraft collection, which I'm also going to unbox. Which I want to open this very carefully. Because all these books can be worth so much money because they're also special edition as well. So here we go, we're opening it up. It's one more step for man, one more step for notch. And here we go. We've got the history of Minecraft in the making. We've got all our wrappers here, and here it is. It feels like an actual book, just this cover. I don't get how you get everything out though. It just sort of slides out. Yeah, it just slides out. Amazing. Let's take one out at a time. Let's try to. We've got the construction hand guide here. Construction hand guide, the one with the shovel. And, you know, you open it up and it basically talks about all the construction and how to build cool houses. Gives you all the material information, as you can see here. So that's super cool. Ooh, you can even build mazes and gardens. This is amazing. You guys have no idea how cool this stuff is. It's super cool. You guys have got to get this. So that's the construction guide. I'm going to put this in right there. And we will be looking through all of these later on. Then we've also got the combat. 
one, which is the sword. And it basically, I'm pretty sure it just tells you about like PvP and stuff. Let's open to a random page here. Let's open up to here. This talks about all the enemies. Damn, this is super cool. We got the enemies, how much life they have, what their attack method is, where they spawn, how what they can use, and what they drop, and how to defeat them, and what not to do. So this is super cool. We got the witch here, and that's super cool. It's got Enderman saying like what it doesn't like and what it likes and how you can defeat it easily and that's super cool guys so that's enderman i mean not the enderman that's the um tech guy which i also think is super amazing so we got that then we got the one i'm actually most interested in here which is the redstone guide because i'm definitely not good with redstone and then we've got the redstone guide, which is a picture of a golden redstone, which is pretty cool. Same cover as the sword, though. And it talks about contraptions, which I absolutely don't understand. Which is basically just talking about contraptions here. I don't even know what that thing is, but it's not. So, th I, I guess it's pretty cool. Even though I don't understand it at all. Destruction combat redstone here. And then we've got the Minecraft Beginner's Guide, which can also be good for anybody. I know everything about Minecraft that there is about beginning stuff. Let's just look in here. I'm pretty sure it just talks about everything. Ooh, we got Captain Sparkles, what he did on his first day. It also talks about their hostile levels. Um, <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. This is nice. It's, t it's talking about how to build a nice looking house on your very first day. And I'm going to read this to sort of wiggy wiggy us off. You're alone in a mysterious new world full of hidden dangers. You have only minutes to find... Boy, hold on. I got a better idea for this, guys. We're going to go to the Minecraft website. We are going to look up the trailer for Minecraft. And we're going to read this. So this is going to be super amazing. We're going to get this all good. Minecraft. Go to Minecraft.net, guys, if you guys want to see this trailer for yourselves. I do not own any rights to this. That's why I'm not playing sound with it at all. Because, you know, who, who, who likes sound, you guys? Like, sound's boring. But here we go. You guys can watch the trailer. And I can read this. You're alone in a mysterious new world, full of hidden dangers. You have only minutes to find food and shelter before darkness falls and the monsters come looking for you. What do you do? The official Minecraft Beginner's Handbook might just save your life. Learn how to find resources, make a shelter, craft tools, armor and weapons, and protect yourself from the monsters. With tips from the Minecraft expert, as well as the developer Jeb and the creator Notch himself, is the guide to surviving in a few days in Minecraft. So this one's gonna be pretty cool. It got some things from Notch himself, like how to build a shelter, how to farm. You got, you know, what you can find, and you can also find them on Facebook and Twitter. And you also got all the achievements that you can get right off the bat. And it also tells you how to build a gigantic castle, I think this looks like. This is pretty cool. This is very nice. You also got your um, little map here. That's pretty cool. We're going to check out all these soon. After I've done uploading this video, we're going to look through everything with a better view. And when I get to my actual house, we're going to check out everything there is about it. About all these books and games that I've just got. We're going to look at everything. We're going to play it. We're going to do it, and we're going to have fun doing it. And this is Jeff Boytel signing off. I'll see you guys later, and have a great day.